this is my billion dollar mistake. <laughs> Sir Tony Hawk. Basically, he's a flipping chap. And I thought Sir Tony would sound better than Sir Anthony. He discovered Quicksort and he invented the programming language Algol, which was an inspiration for most modern programming languages. My third discovery was the null pointer. <laughs> Every year, the programming community spends a billion dollars on trying to eliminate, remove, test, or just suffer from null pointer references. Today, I give you the answer. Java 8 introduced the optional class, which is something that every Java programmer needs to have in their toolkit. It's a container that either contains a value or doesn't. It's kind of like a box that says, handle with care, contents may be empty. The user is required to look inside the box and check whether a value is there before they actually do something with it. Null points or exceptions happen when you try to operate on a null value as if it were a real value. Imagine a class called customer that has a method get email address that returns an email address. Now, as a user of this class, you might assume that get email address always returns you an email address so that you can use that to go and send an email or something like that. The problem is, if that class sometimes returns null because the user hasn't provided your email address, you don't know that. And you try and send them an email anyway, and boom, null pointer exception. How do optionals help with this scenario? Well, we could return an optional email address from the customer class, which says to the user of that class, hey, uh, we might actually not have an email address for this customer, so just be careful about that. And then they can decide, oh, we don't have an email address, so let's go and look at the phone number or something. Basically, the optional has transferred that knowledge that was just sort of in the original programmer's head into the code to make it really clear to future programmers, which could be the same person, that value might not be present. If there's one thing you take away from this video, I want it to be this. If you've got a method that you want to return null from, consider two options instead. Either return optional, which signifies to the programmer, hey, this value might not be present, go and handle it or throw an exception if null means this can't happen. This makes your intent way clearer and it's gonna cause way less pain and suffering down the line.